We have an exciting video for you today. We are going to show you all of Welland Park. Well, well, we're going to be showing you the southern part of Welland Park. It's all the new construction just south of Tamiami Trail. So we are going to give you a full vlog tour of all the new construction that's going on here. We're going to give you all the details of these communities, what the homes are selling for, and what the HOA includes. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. What's up everybody? My name is Francesca Hanaho. And I'm Richard Hanaho. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap on that notification bell so you get notified every time we do a new video just like this one, showing you all of Venice, Florida, where to live, eat, sleep, work, play, everything. Listen, if you're thinking about moving here, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email whichever one you prefer, because we do not stop working until you are a Sarasota County resident. All right, guys, we are gonna start today in Everly, one of our favorite communities here in Welland Park. We're gonna tell you all about it, but it is super windy outside, so let's hop in the truck. So we are entering the community, and the first thing I wanna show you is that, A, this is a beautiful entrance here, but it is gonna be guard gated. So this will be where your gate is. And I want to show you these beautiful amenities that are coming along, but we'll save that for later. They're saying they're going to be open this summer or maybe at the end of the summer, but we'll see and we'll definitely keep you posted. They're moving pretty quick. I think they're going to be open before summer. All right. Well, we'll see. Over here, what we're looking at, there's four builders and there's, you know, really two different or three different types of, of building going on. Obviously, right here, we've got one of Lee Weatherington's model homes. So we do have custom builders like Lee and John Cannon, but we also have West Bay, which is just going to be your normal production builder. It's going to be more of their high end series though. Yeah. West Bay is out of Tampa, Florida. They've been building since 1989 and we like their construction. Yep. So West Bay already bought their lots. So they're doing kind of a different process than all the other builders here. And this is their Biscayne model right here. And this is their Gasparilla model. Now, we did another video on that Biscayne model where we toured it in Parrish, Florida. So I will link that here if you're interested in and seeing it. Let me tell you something about that Biscayne model. It is pretty awesome because the back of the house has four sliders that come out to, actually eight sliders that come out to 24 feet wide of glass. So you can just look out at your pool area. It's beautiful. Yeah. So these lots are all West Bay. They, like I said, it's a different process. So West Bay's homes range from 2,562 square feet, and that's three to four bedrooms, up to 3,657 square feet with a three-car garage. And the price ranges from 700,000 up to 844,000. And of course, you're gonna put your design on top of that and also your lots. But West Bay has really sold a ton of lots out here. They have 85 lots total and they're just knocking them out. Yes, they are. And then the next level that you have per se is gonna be your Neil signature. Now, Neil's signature is semi-custom. So with Neil, you're going to reserve your lot. It's a different process. It's kind of the same as the custom homes. You're going to reserve your lots. And then with Neil, though, you have floor plans to pick out of or choose from. So with Neil, it's going to be their homes range from 2,855 square feet. That's a Neil home as well. Yep, this is a Neil home up to 4,189 square feet, and that's a four bedroom, five and a half bath, and three car garage. So you can get a pretty large home with Neil Signature, and the prices range just for the homes between 735,000 up to 1,098,000. And then of course, again, you're gonna add your lot cost on top of that, and then your design options. Now- Just to give you an idea about the lot cost, the lot cost back there on the conservation is around 290000 and goes up from there. Yep. Now, John Cannon and Lee Weatherington have these lots. These, The lots that are with the custom builders are going to be larger, and they're going to be a little more like these are waterfront lots, so they're a little bit more. And also, there's Neil's signature, so really beautiful home right there. So another Neil, and then the next one is going to be John Cannon coming up here. We're just waiting for these you know, John Keenan Homes, oh, this one to open up right here. And I believe they are calling this one the Everly. You want to take a sneak peek? Sure. Let's see, see if I can get, let's see if I can get us in there real quick. 
So this is a John Cannon home. He's one of our recommended builders. We love what he's doing with his homes here. The construction is a pretty good upgrade. They do a, a poured steel reinforced lentil on the, the top of the block for these homes, which keeps the roof really secure. Just really love the construction coming from a builder developer. Now, they may have it locked here today. Let's see what's going on. Yep, you can see the view, hopefully. But yeah, we're locked up today. See if we can get in the side door. Oh, dang it, we're in. It be a little loud in here, but you get to see what's going on with the view out here. Just gotta show you these back windows. Look at that. That's the Florida living right there. All right, so that's a sneak peek of this John Cannon host. All right, if you have any questions about these custom builders out here, feel free to go ahead and throw a comment below or shoot us a text, shoot us an email, and I can get that information to you. Let's go ahead and check out some other homes. All right, so you got the first sneak peek at John Cannon's model homes. All right, but let me last but not least tell you about the amenities, but also I'm gonna turn this camera around to show you some more of these beautiful homes. So the amenities are gonna be great here if you're interested in this community. It's got a clubhouse that spans over a 50 acre lake. It's beautiful actually, right yeah, there. You can't put in your jet skis or take your ski boat no. out, but uh, you can definitely get your paddle board in there. Yeah, it's, and it's pretty lookout, but you're gonna have a social hall. There's gonna be, of course, your resort style pool with cabanas and a spa. There's a fitness center, there's pickleball courts, there's a fishing platform, and you're gonna have a dog park. And they do have a golf um, thing. Simulator. Is that what it is? Yeah. Something like that. No, a chip and putt. That's what I was trying oh, to say. Oh, I'm putt. sorry, I'm staying corrected. Yep. So this is the clubhouse right here, guys. Looking pretty good. I Richard, maybe that. you wanna take them inside the clubhouse too. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there, but let's go for it. Let us know in the comments below if you like it when we sneak into these clubhouses and houses under construction. We're here at the amenity center. Richard's gonna run in with the camera and show you guys a sneak peek of what's hopefully, going on. Hopefully I don't get in trouble, but you know, if you're watching our videos, this is the kind of thing we like to do for you guys so you can get a peek of what's going on. So I was in here yesterday and drywall was up and they're doing structured wiring. So there's a lot going on. Let's, let's see if I can get in here. All right, let's check out this pool. All right, you got a beautiful pool on the lake out here. Looks like we've got a hot tub over there. Like I said, they're moving quick out here. So when your homes get done, when it's done being built, you can go ahead and you'll have your amenities already ready for you to get through. It looks like they want to tell me to get out of here. <laughs> so I got a little busted there. They wanted me to have a hard hat on. I don't have a hard hat on today, obviously, but we got you in, we got you a sneak peek. All right, we've showed you all of Everly. I gave you as much information as I possibly could. We're gonna take you over to Lake Spur. Lake Spur, you know, we already mentioned this in another video, but we'll mention it again, is a multi-generational community. They're gonna have some smaller homes that are 2,000 square feet, and then they're also building larger homes that are more family friendly and have an upstairs with a loft and things of that nature. Lake Spur is a gated community as well. We also have the amenities over here to your left. Yeah, the amenities are looking good. I don't know if they're fully open, but they're completed. The pool is at least. I haven't seen anyone in the pool yeah. lately, but I know it has water in it. So we got the playground over there for the kiddos. Also, since like I said, it is going to be a multi-generational community. Yeah, so you got a small cabana over there with two restrooms. You got the pool, you got the top lot area. Yeah. So you got the kiddos covered. 
So in this community, the builders are gonna be, right now it's only Lennar and Pulte, but Madame is coming in here soon. So as you can see, this is one of Lennar's larger floor plans here. They basically build inventory homes. So with Lennar, it's kind of a different process. You would come here and- Pick out your floor plan. You would see what home you really like if you want one of those larger homes. And then you would just wait to see what lot they're gonna build it on and wait until they release it for sale. You're not gonna have any options to pick out, so on and so forth. With Pulte, you're gonna be picking out, you know, your, your options and your floor plans. Their floor plans range from 430,000 to 565,000. And they are 1,670 square feet all the way up to 2,894 square feet. And that is for their five bedroom home. And then also in this community, the HOA does include your landscaping, that pool and cabana and the playground. And it's gonna run you about 316 a month. And the CDD in here is gonna be 2,436 a year. And that's gonna be rolled into your taxes. So not too bad. This community is really coming along. It's looking pretty good. And we've had a few people reach out to us and be interested in this community because they don't want to be the oldest people in the community and they don't wanna be the youngest people. And I think, you know, this community is gonna have a nice mix of an age range for you. And so these phases over here, this is where Madame's coming in right here. Yep. That's where they'll be. Right. And just so you know where we're located in Welland Park, we are in the southeast corner of Welland Park. Now, there is more of Welland Park coming in the future that is a little bit more south. But as of right now, with construction, we are in the southeast corner. And when you do come out of Lake Spur and you can hook up to a road and you can get over to River Road or 77, if you will. So eventually, Welland Park is gonna have several entrances. You're gonna have two right off of River Road, 77. And then of course, you're gonna have the two main entrances coming off of Tamiami Trail. And of course, we always talk about the Minnesota Beach Road. That will go all the way over to Inglewood Road, which is 776 on the west side of the community. And just wanted to mention one other thing, if you, know of Pulte's floor plans or DeBosta. They are building the Mystique in here and they are building the Prestige. These are some really beautiful floor plans to check out by Pulte. You can check it out on their website or you can send me an email and say, hey, can you send me more information on Pulte Lake Spur and I will get that over to you. Or you can even reach out to us and say, hey, can you do a video of some of these floor plans so I can see which one I wanna buy and we will make sure to get that over to you. Because Richard is the one that does really good videos for our clients and he will show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, whether it's new construction or resale. Always. Yes. All right, Richard, where are we headed to next? We are headed to Brightmore. Brightmore. So if you are interested in seeing some updates on Brightmore, the 55 and up community, we are on our way. All right, while we're driving, let me know in the comments what community you're interested in learning more about. And hopefully we're gonna cover that for you today. We already knocked out two, we got a few more for you. So make sure you watch till the end where we show you one of our most popular communities that our clients call us about. So we're saving that for last. All right, so as we're coming out of Lake Spur and Everly, this is Minnesota Beach Road. So if you go right, that's gonna take you to 77 River Road. You go left, this is gonna take you eventually all the way through to that Inglewood Road I was talking about. Now, Richard, when do you think Minnesota Beach Road's gonna be open? You know, I can't gauge that, <laughs> but there's been a lot of controversy on it. And I see new pavement going down here on the east side. And I've done the research to see who all the landowners are. So it's just a matter of time before this road is built and it goes all the way through. And what's so awesome about this road is if you live in Welland Park and you want to get over to Minnesota Beach, you could take your golf cart over there if you wanted to. It'd be about a 25 minute ride on the golf cart. Or if you want to drive there, it's going to be 10, 15 minutes. Something to think about when you live in Willow Park. Eventually, the entrance for Brightmore will be done and it looks like it's gonna be spectacular. Yeah, they're, they're definitely slacking on their entrance here. It's beautiful. Obviously, again, this is gonna be a gated community. Looks like they have this almost wrapped up. Really, Welland Park is exploding right now. All these builders are moving very fast.
So right now, Brightmore has a lot of inventory on the ground. You know, they really didn't even open the community until they had several homes already complete. So I'm gonna kind of run you through what the community is gonna have to offer, what the prices are gonna be, what the fees include. This is really gonna be a special community when it's all said and done. Well, you gotta check this out right here to our right is where their clubhouse facilities are going to be. There's gonna be a 21,000 square foot clubhouse here. Right there, so they're gonna have a lakefront clubhouse, resort style pool and lap pool, nine pickleball courts, fitness center, Paw Park, cafe and bar, and a full-time lifestyle director. They're gonna have club rooms for activities and all that kind of stuff. So think about something like a Dell Web community. That's really what you can expect here at Brightmore. And I know a lot of people are really looking forward to it. Now, I did ask when their amenities are expected to be opened. They're saying sometime before the end of next year. So you got about a year and a half, let's say, or a little over a year and a half, I guess. Yeah, they got a lot to build, but it's going to be beautiful. Yeah, so they are going to have, you know, a restaurant here and a cafe and bar. The cafe bar is kind of like has your coffees and breakfast and smoothies type thing. All right, here's their completed models. If you watched our video from last time when we were in here, there was chaos here because they were finishing up getting ready for the parade of home actually at that time. Yeah, so Brightmore is going to have single family homes and they also have villas. These are the villas right here that we're pulling up on. Pretty cool villas. So the villas are pretty cool. The square footage is from 1,412 square feet, and that is for a two bedroom, two bath, two car garage. And that is going to go up to seven, then it's gonna go up from 1,400 square feet to 1,754 square feet. So that's going to be the villa square footage. So the pricing on the villas is going to be 406000 all the way up to 461000 Now here is their single family homes. Really gorgeous. I think in Brightmore, one of the things that I really like about what they're doing here is that the exteriors look so nice and they're different. Like it's not cookie cutter at all in here. Let me know in the comments what you think about these exteriors. I really like them. So Here's the deal with the single family homes. They range from 1,427 square feet all the way up to 2,478 square feet. And that's a three bedroom, three bath with a two car garage. So there's not gonna be any three car garages in here. So if you're looking for a bigger home, this is not gonna be where you find it. These are the villas here. Well, one thing I like about this community too is every one of these homes is built either on water or conservation. So the prices from the single family homes is ranging from 480,990 all the way up to 624,000. And then you have to also add on your lot as well. Now look, if you wanna live close to the Cool Today Park, they got you covered in here. Yep, I don't know if you can see it, but that's the Cool Today Park right out there. Now, I actually think it's cool to have that view in your backyard. You know, they do do concerts and things like that in the Cool Today Park. I think it would be cool to hear it from my back porch yeah. sometimes. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about that? Might be a free concert. Yeah, if I heard a concert, I'd go sit outside on my lanai and make a cocktail and have a free concert. I don't know. <laughs> Let me tell you how much the fees are going to be in here. So. If you're looking to move into Brightmore for the all of the amenities that I already covered, you are going to be paying, and also your landscaping and irrigation is covered in here. So the fees are for the HOA is between two seventy four and three ten a month. Also, it's going to be seventy nine a month for your internet, cable, and phone. Also, your CDD fee is going to be twenty one hundred to eighteen fifty two a year, and that's going to be again rolled into your taxes. So not too bad, the fees in here, and it does cover a lot. There is the Cool Today Park. So if you're looking to stay away from it, you definitely want to make sure you stay away from this end of the community. Here's some lots right on me. <laughs> or if you want to hear that music in your backyard, then you want to be over here. I don't think the, the concerts are late, so I wouldn't really worry about it. All right, so we're going to drive you through the rest of these homes. But Richard, where are we going next? We are going to go check out Solstice, which is the Whole Brothers community. And what do you think about the type of construction here, Richard? What Do you, do you like what you're seeing? Well, we don't have any two-story homes in here, so you got first-story block, which, of course, if you live here, you want block construction. 
and then you have your concrete tile that's out here as well. You know, Mattamy does a great job with their construction. I have nothing negative to say. Mattamy is the developer of Welland Park, so they're definitely gonna do a great job with their construction. All right, so if you're watching this video and you're wondering how close all these communities are to the downtown Welland Park area, Richard, how long do you think? Cause all right. All these communities are really close together and I always tell our clients, these are the ones that are really the closest. Yeah, so Brightmoor is one of the closest. We are five minutes, 10 minute golf cart ride. Just remember if you're in Welland Park and you have a golf cart or you're planning on buying one, there's an eight foot trail out here that you can ride around on with your golf cart. And there's also a golf cart lane on the road and there's signs, you know, posted that uh, this is a golf cart community. So it truly is. Now, look, if you're back in Everly, let's say you're just, you know, you're 10, 15 minutes, depending on traffic. And same with Lakespur. Is there ever any really traffic in here though? <laughs> Yeah, there, there is traffic. There is. And there's a spring training game. And this is what Richard's referring to as the, this is meant for the golf cart or the sidewalk? This golf lane to the right. Yeah. There's a sign for you right there. All right, here we go. Perfect example. Do the sign. All right. So it's your bike lane. It's your golf cart lane. Or, or you could just ride on the sidewalk, you know. Now look, we, we've got to put this out there because we put out the good, the bad, the ugly about every community. So you guys know what's going on. So... I had a client ask me, Richard, what's the negative to Welland Park? He did. And the only negative I can come up with with Welland Park is that we do have some traffic in here. And the only time we do have that traffic is when spring training is going on. Yes. And if you guys know about baseball, there's only a couple months out of the year that we have spring training. I so. feel like every time spring training starts, it's over like in a blink of an eye because I we're always too busy to, we haven't planned to go to any of the spring training games yet. We definitely need to plan for it though. Our son plays baseball. If you've been watching the channel, you've heard us talk about it. Uh, he loves baseball. So yeah, we definitely need to make it to a game. Also, I think this is cool if you're interested. I know you may have heard me talk about this, but our sports team for Venice High School here are very well known and recognized. They win championships. They're really good teams. Well. Their baseball team is actually playing at the Braves Stadium Friday night. Now, Richard and I cannot attend because our daughter has a softball tournament in Cape Coral. But if we could attend, we would definitely take our kids to it. I heard that the tickets are only like $10. So really cool to see our local high school team playing at the, the real stadium over there. They're a really good baseball team. I forget how high they went last year, but pretty high. We hear it's pretty competitive, so we're trying to get our son ready to try out for the high school team. We'll keep you posted when when the time comes. We'll let you know how it goes. So they're actually burning something here they're in doing, the area. They're today. doing a controlled burn. And it is very smoky. So we've got wind and a lot of smoke. <laughs> so if we went right here, that would be north, and that'll take you to downtown Welland Park. It's about two minutes that way. Okay. And then here's Solstice. So Solstice really is the closest community to the downtown Welland Park, if you ask me. Yeah, it's pretty, it's really just kind of catty corner. You guys, in Solstice, I gotta tell you, they have some beautiful homes in here. They have villas and single family homes. But really what I want to tell you is our sales rep that used to work in here, but now works in Monterey told us that, you know, they have a lot of inventory homes that are really kind of just sitting because everybody that comes in wants to pick out their own options. So if you're interested in getting a deal on a Toll Brothers home, make sure you call me or email me so I can show you the homes because there's some really stunning homes that are just sitting here. And I'm sure Toll Brothers is ready to cut a deal on some of them. Yeah, here's their four models right here. Now that Willet right there is the largest floor plan they have and it's got a three car garage. Let's talk about the amenities here. They have a clubhouse, a resort style pool. They have with lap lanes, they have a fitness center, tennis courts and pickleball. What they're not gonna have here is they don't have a lifestyle coordinator. So if you're looking for the clubs and the groups and so on and so forth, I don't think you're gonna find that here. They wanted to save their homeowners on fees. So let's talk about the prices here. Well, the square footage. So we have villas that range from 1,528 square feet all the way up to 1,804 square feet. And that is a three bed, two bath. So remember in Brightmoor, you could only get a two, two in the villas. In Solstice here, you can get a three, two. So I think that's nice. 
They range from 399,000 up to 477,000. And you can put up a fence here. So if you have a dog and you're looking for a community where you can put up a fence, this is one of them. That's been a big question for our buyers. What communities of Welland Park can you put up a fence? Yep. So, all right, their single family homes range from 1,917 square feet all the way up to 3,395 square feet. And like I said, that Willet is their largest floor plan with three car garage. The price is from 515,000 all the way up to 833,000. And of course, you're gonna add on your design options and your lot after that. They have a beautiful Pelican. I don't know if it's still for sale or if it's sold now, but Really, the Pelican's a really beautiful open floor plan if you're looking for a nice floor plan in here. You know, we showed a client recently several different inventory homes in here and she didn't really gravitate to any of them either because they have designers that have picked out all of the options for their inventory homes and it's really a love it or hate it kind of thing. Really beautiful homes here by Toll Brothers. There's your playground right there for your kiddos. And then there's your amenities. You've got nice cabanas out there by the pool. And they do have an event lawn out there. Let's go check out Avelina. All right, on to Avelina. Avelina is being built by Neil. It is not Neil's signature, it's just Neil Home. So it's not semi-custom, but still really beautiful homes. Neil Homes, or Avelina, is really being built for the homeowner in mind that doesn't really want to have amenities in the community. It's being built for people who know they're going to build their own pool and have their own private amenities and aren't really looking for a clubhouse and all that kind of stuff. So there's not really a ton of amenities here. Well, there's, there's none, actually. There's none. But you do get a gated community gated. and you get a great product from Neil. Yes. All right, let's see how crowded it is here today. All right, so let's talk about pricing here. The square footage over here runs from 2,327 square feet all the way up to 2,762 square feet. And as you can tell, every, I believe every floor plan has a three car garage. So that's nice. The prices range from 579,000 all the way up to 648,000. And of course you have to add on your design options in your lot after that. Some of these homes are really beautiful, especially the ones that have the conservation behind them right over here. With Neil here, you know, you're all one story homes are block construction. Again, you're gonna have that concrete tile. And I will tell you the thing about Neil, as far as options when you go to his design center, they've got a lot of options for you to pick out for the interior of these homes. Yeah, they yeah. do. They have some nice finishes. Now, one thing about this community, they, when they started this community, they did not have hurricane impact windows on all the homes. So some of these homes, if you buy it on the resale, you're going to have to put up your storm shutters. Homes moving forward, they all have hurricane impact windows. So you don't have to worry about those shutters. All right, so we're pulling out of Avelina and we're going to head east through Welland Park, go back by the Cool Today Park. Yeah, and we're heading towards our last community that I said in the beginning was really probably the most sought after and i know why but i'll save that for when we get there obviously we can't fit every community into this video so i did just want to mention a couple that we didn't have time to go through one of them is sunstone because sunstone is being built by madame and i did want to mention they have a lot of inventory homes on the ground right now they're only building inventory and some of these homes are really beautifully designed inside and they're offering a lot of incentives on them right now because it's about to be their fiscal so if you're interested in seeing that inventory list make sure you reach out to me and i will send that over to you so if you're looking for a deal on a hole it may be in sunstone all right so on our right is sam rogers community grand place that we mentioned briefly earlier so this community is semi-custom you know they do have some lots left in here so they are not fully sold out beautiful homes in here you know it says on their sign they start in the high nines and then you have to add on the price of your lot and your design options but really some gorgeous floor plans in here yeah so if you're wondering what the semi-custom is it's not full custom 
So you can pick out your floor plan and you can manipulate that floor plan a little bit, but they're not really going to change the footprint of the home. Also, when you go to your design center, you have more options with Sam Rogers than you do with somebody like Mattamy or Production Builder, Pulte or West Bay, even like they have a lot of stuff going on here for you to choose from. You're gonna have more custom options to choose from, that's for sure. So as far as their construction, you can see they're doing block construction and they have their concrete tile roofs, which is a must over here. Another thing that they're doing that some other builders, a couple other custom builders that we like do is they're building a steel poured reinforced lentil on top of the block on the exterior walls of the house to hold the roof down. So really they're just strengthening the home. As we all know, hurricanes like to try to rip your roof off. Well, with this kind of construction, that's not gonna happen. So as you can see, these lots are still available and they're on this concert, or that one, not this one, on this conservation here. It's really beautiful back there, so. Really good lot back there, still available here. And again, there's no amenities in this community at all. Yes, no. All right, we are on to our last community. So we're heading south into Welland Park, back towards Everly. To your right right here is going to be a Publix. So if you're in Everly, Lake Spur, and this next community we're about to show you, you'll have a Publix right here. So five minute golf cart ride, ride your bike, and then we'll have some more commercial over here. You guessed it, the Welland Park Golf and Country Club. And I gotta tell you, the thing about this community is just really, it's amenity rich. I mean, there's no other golf course community right now in Welland Park, so this has definitely been a highly sought after community. And, you know, I was just telling one of our clients the other day, they they really are running a lot of specials on their homes. Once they're complete, they really start dropping the price and running specials on them. This house right here is for sale. So, all right, this is an Isabella, and it is priced at 671, 671,000, and it has $33,000 available of credit towards your closing cost. And then they have an Angelina that we just passed. Angelina with a pool, that's at 2-2 with a den, large open area. That one is priced at 674,000, 100,000, and it also has 33,000 available toward your closing cost. So yeah, once these homes are complete, they really start dropping the price on them. They have one more row um, that they haven't started building on, one more street where they're gonna have golf lot, Mem single family homes. So single family deeded homes with a golf membership. So if you're interested in buying a house in here that comes with the golf, make sure you reach out to us soon because the final opportunity is definitely approaching. They also have terraces and coach homes and those they will be continuing to build with the golf memberships. And I forgot to mention, but those two homes that were over here that I said were for sale, they also have a pool and a spot. So pretty good, pretty good pricing over here. Yeah, and I actually have videos of both of the homes. <laughs> so if you want my walkthrough video, just go ahead and throw a comment below or text us or email us and I can shoot those videos over to you. So over here is where all the amenities will be. You got all your golf carts over here. They don't have their cart barn open yet. Man, but they are moving on these amenities, let me tell you. So I believe, Richard, this is going to be the bar area, like yeah, this the is restaurant like your... with the bar that's by the pool. Yeah, this is your sports bar area that you can you can come up to in your golf cart and just right. jump over there and check it out. So let me know if you want to sit by that bar and have a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> and you can call me and I'll come over and, and say hi and hang out with you. No. And so their main clubhouse facility will be right here. Right behind there's a driving range right out onto the lake. And there's the pro shop. Looks like they're about to open that up. Yeah, that's definitely coming along. All right, guys. So we're leaving Mellon Park Golf and Country Club. If they let us out. <laughs> Now we're going to go check out the downtown Welland Park area just to show y'all how close it really is. All right, so we're coming out of the Welland Park Golf and Country Club to the first roundabout going north, and we are now on Minnesota Beach Road, headed towards downtown Welland Park. This is the quickest route. It's 2.7 miles.
All right. Playmore Road is where we are. You can see the walking trail right there that goes around the lake. That's at the downtown Welland Park area. You know, a lot of people reach out to us and they are active and they want to live somewhere where there's like an active lifestyle. Welland Park definitely has you covered. There's the trail again. Not only is there that trail that goes around the lake, but you can rent bikes and all kinds of things over at the downtown area. Your paddleboard, paddleboard, kayaks. All kinds of fun stuff. There's a spot over there to go fishing. Welland Park is definitely an active community. Yeah, with the Publix, the main grocery store here being connected to the downtown, you really don't even need to leave the community if you don't want to. Everything's here. And then you're looking at about 20, 25 minutes max to the beaches. Yeah, and you have such a great choice of beaches as well. You've got Venice Beach, you've got the downtown Venice area, which is so cute and quaint. Lots of shopping and restaurants that are amazing. But then you've got Venice Beach. You can go to Nokomis Beach. It's a little bit further, but it's a nice as well. You can go to the South Jetty, North Jetty. Or if you want to go south, you can go to Minnesota Beach, Caperson Beach. You can go to Blind Pass when it's open. And look, if you want to see any of these beaches, just check out our videos there. Yeah, there. we've showed you a, a few of the beaches here now. Well, actually most of them. The thing I like about our beaches is it's free to park. There's always showers and restrooms. And most of the time there's even like snack shacks that you can like get some food and stuff out. So if you don't want to bring a cooler filled with food, you can get some beers some hamburgers, hot dogs, all kinds of different snacks. All right, so obviously we're pulling into the downtown Wild Park here right now. And we just passed that big parcel back there. That will be more commercial. So I'd say they're about one third done here, maybe a little less. But there's a lot coming to the downtown. You've got Foxtail Coffee, which also has wine and beer. You've got Oak and Stone, which is your pizza place that has the beer wall for you to try out. All kinds of steaks. Bologna and Company right here is a steak and steak place. You got a, a bright ice cream place. This is where your events take place. They have concerts every Friday and Saturday night, and it is packed down here. All right, guys, decided to step out of the truck here and show you a little bit more, but this is a new place. It's Coastal Italian Aqua Paza. We That's have not been here yet. We have not been here yet. I haven't even heard if it's good or not. Really cute outdoor seating. Smells good. We'll see. Um, once we hear how good it is, we'll come over here and try it. <laughs> I think I'm sm I think I'm smelling oak and stone now. Yeah, oak and stone is always really going on. So here we have the Banyan House. Heard really good things about that place too. So you can have events here if you want to throw a big party. I saw that they've been doing weddings and stuff. It looks absolutely beautiful. Wow, it's windy today. It is super windy. This connects to that trail around the lake I was showing you. And look at how choppy the lake is today. Wow. I don't know if you'd want to go paddleboarding today, but there's where you take off from. Yeah, that's their kayak launch right there. And the lighthouse over there, I don't know if you can see that really good. That's where the dock is to go fishing. It's out there. All right, if you're coming here with kiddos, they have this little water thing going on. I've seen a lot of kiddos playing in it. And then back here where you've got a, a playground. There's a there's a big playground over there, but there's a lot of people, so we'll try not to bother them. Yeah, so on Friday and Saturday nights, this event, this uh, event lawn right here is packed and there's music and everybody comes and hangs out and has a drink, walks around. It's a lot of fun. All right, guys, we had a lot of fun showing you as much of Welland Park as we possibly could. That's the most we could fit into one video. If you have any questions about anything you saw today, make sure you reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email, whichever one you prefer. But we don't stop working until you are a Sarasota County resident. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. It was fun. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.